Greetings guys, Pitambiria here. So today I'll want to compare our M102 engine cold start first with the carburetor and now with EFI. First I'll need to check the temperatures for the carb engine. The temperature at the moment is 20.9 degrees for the EFI. Twenty point two degrees. And I'll start uh, I'll start with the carburetor starting. I'll try start the engine without pressing the gas pedal. That's the second time I'm trying to crank it. Let me try a third time. That's the third time. And the only way to make the engine start is to at least enrich the fuel by simply pressing the gas pedal as i will show you um, in a few moments Uh, it shakes much and um, if you try to rev the engine it stutters so um, if you are to get in and you know go and try to tackle a steep uh, terrain it will give in, so it will just stop. The temperatures are 23. On to the EFI. Just to be sure of the default temperatures. I'll now start it. It starts right away. This is for the meter to start setting the battery. I'll check the temperatures again. Hasn't warmed up, but it should start warming up right now. So does it take the full rev? Suppose I press the gas pedal completely. It does take the full rev, which I'm very happy about it. And so EFI has more benefits than the stock carburetor. And this is the way to go. EFI has full power even when it is cold, unlike carb where you have to wait for it to warm up.
temperatures rising When the engine is cold, the fan should be uh, disengaged and you should be able to stop it with your hand quite easily, like so. But if your fan, you cannot do that, then it's either short, meaning it is on throughout, or as the other alternative which is a shortcut uh, it is normally welded which is not doing good for the engine in the long run because that's a load right there As you can observe, the EFI board, this is version 2, previously I had separate boards for separate sensors, actuators, injectors, but now I designed and developed this version 2, it is simply a single board that houses everything. Right now, the temperature is at 40, 41.7, it revs pretty well. What about the carburetor? Right now, It's at 40 degrees. I will drive. It drives pretty well now that it has warmed up and it has full power. It can conquer any road terrain you give it. Again, as mentioned earlier, as the engine is warming up, the fan should be freely to move and should be able to stop it with your hand. So if, you, if yours is not viscous coupled, it's magnetic clutch and it's on throughout, then seek for a mechanic who can sort your problem out.